is a great question. Can you get sued for selling products that customers are not satisfied? Can you go to jail or get a fraud? So when you sell a product that isn't as advertised, one, you're gonna lose your payment gateway, two, you're gonna get banned from Shopify, three, you're gonna get banned from Facebook. So when you're selling products that customers are not happy, happy with, they're gonna open up disputes, they're gonna give you bad reviews on Facebook, they're gonna sort of report your store towards Shopify, and that is what triggers all those bans. The chances of you going to jail for fraud is pretty low unless you're sort of selling things that hurt people, which is hard because you can't even ship something that would hurt. You can't ship a bomb to like a customer's address. Now if you ship something that doesn't work, let's say you sell a scissors and it just doesn't work and they sort of can't sue you from overseas for selling scissors that doesn't work. What they can do is they can go ahead and open up a dispute for that order and the credit card or the bank will give them their money back. So you can't really go to jail. Oh, thank God. I think copyright is something that you can go to jail for if you're sort of selling, say, a Gucci shirt on your store. Gucci can go ahead and sue you. So that's a possibility. I think the chances of you going to jail from a customer is actually much lower than you going to jail from copywriting a big name company. So that's sort of what can happen when you're sort of Shopify dropshipping. So you definitely want to be very, very careful and try not to do bad things in the first place. Like all these things I mentioned that can get you in trouble, don't do that at all because you're not going to have a long-term business. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. As always, if you want, I am offering some one-on-one -on -one coaching for people who are really, really serious about dropshipping and they want to start on the right track so that they don't go into all these mistakes that would lead them to get really banned and in all this trouble. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, one, I'd highly recommend you to go through my reviews and sort of see the different clients that I've been able to help worldwide. Secondly, I'd like you to go through my YouTube and Instagram and go through my content over the last three to four years so you guys can see the type of value I offer and see if you would even want to work with me. Number three and final, if you still want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, message me on my Instagram or email me at this email saying, hey, I'm interested in your one-on-one -on -one coaching. I can definitely book you into a free consult I can really spend time diagnosing your issue and see if I can even help you out because if I can't help you out, I don't want you to pay me. Like I don't even want you to join because I don't want to waste your time and obviously I don't want you to waste my time. So if that's something you're interested in, go through these three steps and hopefully we'll be able to work together. But hopefully I was able to answer your question. Peace.